What is up, boys? We are back here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. This time we got Retro Pack re-release or 2020 date edition. This is an OG pack that was re-released in late August of 2024. And uh, yeah, I mean, it brought down the value of Retro Pack 1. In my opinion, it should have been Retro Pack 2 because that one had a lot more valuable stuff in it. And I think the most valuable card in that was Shining... Uh, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon from the the movie, and I, I kind of want want to chase that. But I mean, we gotta settle for Retro Pack One. It's it's no slouch. I guess it's it's all right, but Retro Pack Two would have been a lot better. Maybe they just didn't want to step on collector's toes, because I mean, objectively, all the metrics it, it hits all the it hits every key thing, right? Like it's a really good set. It, ha it reprints a lot of uh, old nostalgia crap. And it has a lot of value, but it is what it is. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. There are four packs, actually, really fast. So this retails for 17 bucks, and I have been seeing online a lot of people try to sell this for like 25 plus dollars. I don't think you guys should be paying that right now. Go to your local targets and buy it there first. If you can't find it, because I do think a lot of people are going to be missing out on this, because I, I only saw a couple boxes, then you can go for the $25 route. But holy shit, these, uh, these people out here really do be trying to uh, get you guys. All right, so we got Gaia Power, Sonic Bird, Giant Rat, Toon Mermaid, and Sangha of the Thunder. Uh, rare that is cool actually because we we did somewhat recently get new gate guardian support actually you know what has it hasn't it been a year now that's pretty crazy has it been a year yeah holy a rising air current manga ryu ran tune summon skull nice um nimble Mon momaga Mon monaga or something like that saying in a super rare Nice. Uh, a lot of these foils are, are actually pretty, pretty freaking valuable in the market right now. I don't know if that is because people are still opening up the set or what, but it is insane, guys. If we pull the Cyber Harpy Lady, that is actually the most expensive card in the set. I will be happy. Shining Angel. We got Giant Germ and Gaia Power. Kazajin. All right, there we go. We need one more a Gate Guardian piece. And uh, we complete the uh, Gate Guardian there. And then we have Jerai Gumbo. Gumbo. Uh, what's his name? The Paradox Brothers. All right. Let's see. Sonic Bird. Giant Rat. Toon Mermaid. Manga Ryu Ran. And then Lord of D. All right. All right. That is crazy. I actually did open up a couple boxes uh, a couple days ago. And I got pretty lucky. I, I didn't think I did. But uh, looking at this box in particular, I think I did. I pulled like two ultras, two to three ultras, and a secret rare. So I don't know the pull rates necessarily, but that seems pretty darn good in my opinion. All right, so second box here. Let's see. Come on, cyber, cyber. Oh, you know what? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is also something I wouldn't mind getting. So either or, cyber, harpy lady, or the ultimate dragon solemn judgment okay super rare that's cool i didn't know it was in here actually, actually you, oh you know what this is cool too because the i don't know th this is actually one of my favorite cards uh, as a kid i wanted i don't remember if i had it or if i wanted it but yeah i don't know there's something about that card i think it was because it was in a game the forbidden memories game like you that card was really good um yeah, maybe, maybe that's why I wanted it as, as a kid. Gaia Power, Luminous Spark, Monster Reborn. There we go. Su another super rare there. By the way, guys, these um, hollows are very easy to warp. Because, like I said, I bought a couple boxes a couple days ago. And I left the cards out in in my room. And they, because it's been a lot really humid in my area, they warped like hell so watch out wall of illusion rare all right Ooh, uh gazelle that's interesting that's actually a pretty weird reprint because no no you know what it's not 
I was gonna say it's it's not the um, the uh, Pegasus or the Duelist Kingdom arc, but it was it released in like a really early pack. Lord of D rare, all right. So that that box was a lot better. And holy, yeah, these cards do have that classic look uh, and feel. That is insane, dude. That is nice. Okay, so I do know that this box doesn't have a lot of cards included in it. I think it's like a relatively sh uh, small set. So we're bound to see a shitload of repeats. And that's all right in my book, I guess. As long as we pull a, a really good secret rare, I will be happy here. All right. Well, I guess you could also get a uh, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and Blue Eyes as an ultra rare. Because I know they're not secret rares. Or at least they shouldn't be secret rares. We got Nimble, Momonga, Momonga, Giant Trunade. That ain't bad, actually. Uh, Common, Mother Grizzly, Senju, and another Sengen. Super rare. Okay. Nice. No, no ultra rare pull yet, though. Okay. That is crazy. So maybe I did get insanely lucky with those two boxes, man. Uh, we got Manga, Ryuran, Giant Trunade, Sonic, Bird, Mystic, Tomato, Wall of Illusion, Rare, and then a little baby dragon. Hell yeah. Ooh, Man Eater Bug. Actually, one of the better OG cards. Now, it's a flip effect, but it could get... It, it, it could out a, a Blue Eyes, right? So it's definitely a mighty card ufo turtle and then swords of revealing light super rare Ooh, that's interesting actually that is pretty interesting magic jammer also in here that was an ultra rare in i think metal raiders wait yeah it should have been metal raiders uh flying kimikari number one giant trunade upstar goblin let's go uh black ritual a messenger of peace oh that's interesting okay that's it yeah this card was a. Uh, I mean, it's pretty decent. It's a really uh, powerful stall card. And I guess back in the day, yeah, it's qu quite formidable because, <laughs> uh, yes, how are you going to get get it out, right? All right, guys, let's see. Come on, give me a secret rare, a good, good secret rare. Again, I, I don't even want the most expensive card now. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is something I kind of want more than Cyber Lady, Cyber, Cyber Harpy Lady. Uh, no idea how to pronounce this guy. Toon Summon Skull, Gaia Power, Yu Yumi Ruka. Yo, that is crazy. Okay. By the way, I knew there was something in here only because of the warpage. Uh, when I had them in my hand, this card was definitely uh, really warped, and I could feel it. So I, I thought it was going to be an ultra rare. Not an ultimate dragon. Holy shit, dude. That is awesome. That deserves a like. And I, like I said, it has the the OG. Everything is OG, OG here, dude. That is crazy. The centering is pretty cra uh, pretty bad. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to grade it. I'm just kind of being nitpicky. I'm going to be sleeving this right after this video. Because again, look at that warpage. This is out of the pack, guys. These, these cards are going to be warping very very hard and uh yeah that just ain't cool but damn dude yes that was that was, is actually my chase i'm really happy about that rising air current a ufo turtle off star goblin and then a turtle let's go Ooh, all right all right two more packs this this pack is also kind of weird actually look at that look at that warpage right there i think you guys can see it on camera like i it's there's, it seems like there's something here, guys. I don't know. Look, look at look at it from this angle. Like when you have these cards in your hand, you definitely see, you, you definitely feel something's off. And I mean, there's something off here. It could still be a super rare, you know. But uh, let's see. Target. Oh boy, this 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 box was pretty darn cool. And like I said, you can definitely. Oh, that's gonna be bad. If you can feel, because I, I felt it even before I opened the pack, that that pack was going to be something, going to have something good. People can actually, guys, do not do not buy single packs. Buy boxes. If, if you're going to be buying them, do not buy packs. They, they will scam you. 
it's going to be really easy to scam you. But Dark Magician, hell yeah, let's go. All right, so this pack might also contain something. Again, it feels weird. So we'll see if I am correct. All right, so in, in hand, it actually doesn't feel that weird. So maybe we don't have anything here. All right, so Toon World, Flying Kamikari, Molten, Destruction, and holy, these cards were, cards were second, but nothing. All right, so I was wrong in this case. Card Destruction. I still think, guys, please don't buy single packs. Uh, buy... Yeah, don't buy single packs. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just go with that. You guys can do whatever you want with your money, but I don't think you should be buying uh, individual packs. But holy, guys, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Secret Rare, and Dark Magician, ulti, or, or Ultra Rare. That is the video, guys. Oh, man, make sure you guys, if you do see them, pick these up. A lot of these, these cards are worth money. This is like 40-ish dollars, unless it went down. I don't know. I mean, the market does fluctuate quite a bit. Catch you guys in the next one. A big thank you to the one and only channel member, Eric. I hope I keep pulling acceptable waifus that we can bond over, man.